How's it going, CCW fans? Welcome to this week's episode of Superstars of the Ring. First things first, I want you folks to remember, we will be in Lake City on September 28th. Please stop on by. We've got one hell of a night in store for you. Now, this week's episode, we have uh, a sort of a refined episode, as it were, as we're going to take a bit of a journey through the stages of the Diamond Exchange. Who they are, how they came to be, what they've done, and where it seems that they could be going. And just kick things off, we've got a special message, a one-on-one -on -one with uh, the Daniel Anderson. It's amazing how long it's been since Diamond Dave knocked on my locker room door and told me he was going to take Daniel Anderson to the top of CCW. Since then, I've been world champion, tag team champion. <laughs> I, I've lost count. Diamond Dave told me something else that night. He told me that when the time was right, not only would I be at the top, but the Diamond Exchange would take over CCW. <laughs> and now look at us. Anderson, Toxic, Shooter, Shire, Blitz, we now have an army, former champions, elite athletes, power players. Individually, we are great. But together, we are unstoppable. I know that I don't do these things, these one-on-one -on -one interviews that often anymore. So I'm sure the roster is watching with bated breath to hear what I have to say. <laughs> so let me take this opportunity to explain what is about to happen to you. We do not care who you are. We do not care if you are a veteran or a greenhorn or a nice guy or a douchebag or an active wrestler or some fat retired pencil pusher. It does not matter. From this moment forth, the Diamond Exchange is in control. And I'm begging you from the bottom of my heart, try and stop us. Because I don't care if you're an outlaw, if you're legendary, or if you're the new breed. No matter who you are, you're going down. A fiery, fiery promo at the table there with Daniel Anderson. And he brought up someone, he brought up a key figure that I wanted to, you know, spend just a little bit of time on. I mean, Diamond Dave, right? Daniel Anderson gives all the credit to, to, to Diamond Dave for coming to him with his vision, his plan for what the Diamond Exchange could be with Daniel Anderson up at the top. And, you know, for one, I think that's, uh, that's pretty visionary. And, and now with what we've got going on in CCW, it seems that Diamond Dave was really in total control of, of this whole, this whole thing. And I want to go, you know, I want to go back. And we're going to start with a video, an in-ring clip of when Daniel Anderson won the CCW Heavyweight World Championship at Stampede in 2016. So do we have a trio of guys now? Daniel Anderson, Jonathan Wells talking to each other. Di Alistair Diamond hanging on the outside of the ring. <laughs> Wells attacks. Alistair Diamond knocked out of the match. Anderson I think doesn't Alistair realize. got a little cocky there. I don't think Daniel Anderson realizes now. I think we might have some good old-fashioned payback, and here we go. Whistling in the ropes. Pulls on the top rope. And that's it. <laughs> that's the winner. <laughs> what a surprise there. As Daniel Anderson pulls off the upset victory, and he...
Diamond pulls out the chair. Chair right in the midsection, and Jonathan Wells is hurting right now. Jonathan Wells. They want Jonathan Wells to understand who they are, that they are the Diamond Exchange. Good chair shots. And the thing is, is that Jonathan Wells has had so many enemies in the past that it's going to be hard for people to really come out and care about him much. Nobody's going to help that man because he has been a thorn in everybody's side. And here it is right here. This is it. Jonathan Wells is now no longer in the Diamond Exchange. It's one hell of a night for Daniel Anderson. But, uh, you know, with that in mind, Daniel Anderson mentioned in that video he sent us, you know, he mentioned legendary, he mentioned a new breed and even an outlaw, the outlaw. Does Daniel have his sights set on the, the, the World Heavyweight Championship of CCW? I'm not really sure, but I still want to continue on with this, this tale of the Diamond Exchange and the next stop that I have is, well, we a moment where we begin to see cracks in the veneer of friendship between Shooter McGee and the rock and roll Chris Turner. Rocker drop! That could be it! That could be it right there! Wait! There's a he's, there's a towel in the ring? What the his eyes, Rafi! He still can't see he ain't better! Shoot Shooter McGee! Wait, what? What the he can't see Shooter McGee try is pointing to the ref that he can't see! Chris Turner's rubbing his eyes. Are you Shooter McGee throwing in the towels just caught to Chris Turner and Jackson Castle the Tag Team Championship? Shooter McGee. And there's, a, there's the official decision. I'm in disbelief. Shooter McGee just cost to Chris Turner and, the, and Jackson Castle the Tag Team Championships. And Shooter's proud of himself. It's almost like it was a setup. As you can see, that's sort of the beginnings of something that ended up being much bigger. And it would appear that Diamond Dave had started to get his words into the ears of Shooter McGee. Let's see what happened next. Wait, let's, we get this on camera. Oh, Chris Turner's made his way to ringside, have a few words with Shooter McGee. I'm not gonna talk to you. I ain't got nothing to say, I was just trying to help you, man. Tur Turner. Chris Turner's just implemented himself into this match. There's a match going on here, Daniel Anderson's Outside of the ring here. Oh, and Shooter McGee off of the distraction. Chris Turner had his back turned. And both men are going to put the boots to him. Shooter and Danny Anderson. What is going on here? Here comes Jackson Castle. Shooter and Danny Anderson scatter. What did we just see here? Diamond Dave would appear to be successful in the execution of his plans seeing as now Shooter McGee had become a fully fledged member, a force within the Diamond Exchange, further legitimizing, I would say, a faction. Now, all of this resulted in many battles between, you know, Shooter McGee and the rock and roll Chris Turner, including a very, very hard fought street fight between the two men. Let's cut to that. 
Busted open, and Chris Turner dialing in on that injury. Shooting the bleeding from the forehead. It's hard to say where that came from. Did it come from the chair shot, the table, the lid, the boot? Maybe a little punch struck. Chris Turner, again the recipient of a low blow and I'll remind you completely legal in this match. It's a street fight. Now to keep calling for the end of Chris Turner. And a swinging neck breaker. We've already pointed out Chris Turner's injured neck. Chris Turner kicks him in the gut and rock and drop onto that chair and both men you see Chris Turner took some force from that chair Shooter McGee took a lot of it the ref begins the count both men are down now may be a matter of who gets to their feet first they decide the winner of this match you can see Turner I believe he may have some broken ribs, not exactly sure. He's got an injured neck, injured shoulder, injured ribs, injured knee. We see Shear McGee barely moving over there in the corner, busted wide open. He may have a concussion. And the referee just counted both men out. They didn't answer the count of 10. And the referee has counted both men out, but it sounds like this match is going to keep going. And the first man to their feet will come away with a victory. That's all it's going to take. You see Turner to his knees. Shoot McGee distracting the referee. The referee didn't see Chris Turner on his feet. Diamond Dave holding down the legs of Chris Turner. Turner unable to get up. Shooter McGee gets up, and that is how this match unbelievably will end. The referee was distracted by Shooter McGee. The ref did not. As you can see, quite the hard fought battle, and it didn't really get much better from there because, again, Turner, Chris Turner was not alone in losing Shooter McGee because then the Diamond Exchange set their sights on another longtime friend and companion, Brian Blitz. Not Larry from Chris Turner. Oh, and just a suplex, front headlock suplex on Chris Turner. He's feeling it in his back, he's feeling it in his neck. He's can he get up? Daniel Anderson has just been a driving force in this match. And that's not to discredit Shooter McGee at all, because there he goes, right there going to work on the exposed Logan Stevens. But man, Daniel Anderson is really taking control. Oh, and there it is, the drop! Drop from Chris Turner taking him down. Two. Oh, dude, that was that was wasn't that three? Wasn't that three? What happened? What was going on? Did Brian Blitz, what, did he just stop counting? Did, he, did his shoulder get hurt? Is he having a spasm? What was that? That was a three count. That was way more than three. Oh, this is, this isn't, this doesn't look right or good. It's, what's, what's, oh! Brian Blitz! You scumbag! You dirty dog! This is injustice! I can't believe it! After everything this man said to us on Superstars of the Ring, this is, this is who he is. This is his character. This is calling it down the middle. This is a man of his word. I don't buy it. Chris Turner vouched for this man. He came in there and fought a hard, contentious match. And Brian Blitz does this? No. No, I, I can't. I, folks, I can't believe what I'm seeing. Well, I guess... And your new tag team champions, CCW, the Diamond Exchange, Daniel Anderson, and Shooter McGee, with the aidance of Brian Blitz. I don't know what to say, but 
we will, we're just gonna, I don't know. I don't. Brian Blitz, as you folks saw, he also joined the Diamond Exchange. And I, Brian Blitz was someone that rock and roll Chris Turner trusted. He was someone that I trusted. He was a member of this production team. Everybody here in the office trusted. When he said he was gonna call that match down the middle, we believed him. We thought he would be a man of his word. We know that you fans, you you obviously, like the rest of us, thought that that would be something that was no question, that Brian Blitz was going to be an objective truth as a referee and official in that match. And yet he still... He, he took the money. He took the money over over his own honor and his own I identity. And I'm a little disgusted to see the man that he's become today. Just a, another horrible member of the Diamond Exchange. And speaking of horrible and speaking of disgusting, Rock and Roll Chris Turner with nowhere left to go ended up with the one and only Toxic as his tag team partner on his crusade to try and take down the diamond exchange that had taken so much from him. So much, so many, so many fresh faces within CCW, so many trusted companions all leaving him for the diamond exchange. And then we have him pairing up with Toxic to try to take them down in one last ride. And then someone had to show their face right at the very end. Turner, Turner, set him up for the rocket drop. Got it. He got it, but Chris Turner's in no position to get to pin him. He's still hurt from that previous head injury he earlier. Saw him. He hurt on his head. Where's the referee? Oh, well, the referee Blitz is distracting the ref again. Wait, and where's Anderson. Toxic going? Toxic's getting ready to jump off the ropes. Oh! oh. And he landed on Turner. He landed on Chris Turner. Toxic turned. Oh no! What is this? What? He just put Shooter McGee right there, and another. Wow, Toxic. And the Diamond Exchange wins again. Chris Turner had no. That was coming. Unbelievable. Toxic fought through this entire match. I don't even know what to say. Turner's out, yeah, I'm speechless. I can't believe it. Brian, Brian Blitz may have just pulled off a coup here in CCW. And they just kicked Turner right out of the ring. Toxic is still in the ring with the Diamond Exchange. I wonder what this is about. I guess. I don't know. I mean, Toxic was upset with Chris Turner when he tagged himself in. He didn't Let's, look happy. Here's the thing. Can Toxic really be that mad? Toxic fought this entire fight. Every time he turned around to get tagged in. Look what we Chris got Turner here. Was... Oh boy. Do we have a new member of the Diamond Exchange? I, I guess it's official now. Toxic joined the Diamond Exchange. Wow. Again. Especially after last money will make you I, unbelievable. CW. Now you have four members in the ring and and if I said it before, I've said it a thousand times, the Diamond Exchange is only getting stronger. These guys are not playing around. And look at, look at Toxic. Toxic's making the sign that he took the money. It's, uh, it's unfortunate for uh, rock and roll Chris Turner. It's unfortunate for Toxic's fans, but what is oh this my, about? Who is this? Oh my God. Oh my God. Everybody, it's back. Sir Ian Everybody Shire. Wow. Holy. Ian Shire. You gotta be kidding. And uh, like Brian Blitz said, diamond exchange is only getting better. Anderson. They've got a lot of strength in numbers, too. Sir Ian Shire is in the Diamond Exchange. Toxic. And they control the Tag Team Championship. And what else are they going to try to control? I mean, what, what is their next move? With all these people. 
Uh, unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Still the tag team champions, but what does the future hold? What does the future hold? Toxic turning on Chris Turner. I guess that's that's true to Toxic, right? That's something that we would come to expect from him. Um, though I was really hoping that he had really turned over a new leaf there. But with the return of Ian Shire, now the Diamond Exchange is the most powerful force the most powerful faction in CCW. And I don't even want to say in current day. I mean, maybe even ever. I mean, the, the list, I mean, it's it's so much. You've got, you've got Brian Blitz, you've got Daniel Anderson, Shooter McGee, Ian Shire, Toxic. And, and not only do you have those five guys working in a coherent fashion as a team, but now we have to still figure, factor that, that Diamond Dave, I mean, still still running the show. It's it's something that I just I don't I fear for the future of CCW. I don't know where it can go, what's gonna happen, and, and who can who can stand up to take these these guys down. I mean rock and roll Chris Turner, he can only do so much on his own. He's a man on his own. Can he take them down? Maybe. He's a crafty veteran. He might have it within him, but I, I just don't know who's gonna come in and stop these guys from taking all the belts, all the gold, all the glory though they don't not really want for glory but who's going to stop them from taking everything from every superstar on the CCW roster I don't know but I I do know that on September 28th in Lake City Florida CCW will be there and we hope that you folks would come in and see another fantastic night with another packed card we cannot wait to have you there and I just want to say that I am excited to see you all there. But that's the end of this week's show. So remember, every Wednesday, ccwrestling.biz for Superstars of the Ring. But until then, I'll catch you next time. It's been me, Rich Kennedy.